All right, let's bring back Niall. Today. Let's bring back Niall Gardner, former foreign policy advisor to Margaret Thatcher. Um, to the point that Benji was making earlier, all of the rank speculation, the ridicule that Kate was being subjected to uh, from people around the world, particularly in the British media. There are an awful lot of people who will be sitting down at the dinner table tonight for a healthy serving of crow. Yes, absolutely. Uh, there were an awful lot of conspiracy theories uh, out there, a lot of nasty stuff, actually. Uh, and some were even claiming that uh, the Princess of Wales was no longer alive. Uh, and so really vicious uh, rumors uh, circulating, uh, absolutely outrageous. Uh, and as, as we saw from... Uh, Kate Middleton's uh, video uh, earlier. Uh, she is someone of, of immense grace. Yeah, uh, she is someone who lives her life for her country. Uh, she has this, this tremendous spirit of service uh, about her. And she embodies, I think, in, in many respects, what the royal family uh, is, is all about. Uh, and there's a reason why she is incredibly popular among the British uh, people. The British people love her uh, very dearly. Uh, and, and I hope this, this video now uh, will put to rest all of the, uh, the horrible, nasty conspiracy theories that are swirling around. And there are a lot of people out there, of course, uh, who, uh, you know, who hate the monarchy. I, I say it's a small minority, but they're out there. Uh, and this video really, uh, I think, is a direct response to all of the, uh, the, the nasty uh, conspiracy theorists out there. Uh, and, and the Princess of Wales is such a, a wonderful, lovely uh, person. Uh, and she just just has this, uh, this tremendous heart and spirit of, of service, greatly admirable. And the vast majority of the British people, I think, are rallying around her right, right now uh, in support of her and, and also, of course, in support of the, the monarchy and the crown. Niall, now that we know what the what is here after weeks and months of speculation, when you look back, what do you make of the way that the palace PR team handled this very personal tragedy for the family? That's a very good question. I think the palace certainly has come under a lot of fire uh, for its uh, handling uh, of the last uh, few weeks. Uh, and and I, I expect that with this announcement uh, now, uh, I think that a lot of the, the criticism of, of, of the palace will, will sort of subside uh, in, in the UK. The focus now will be upon uh, the well-being of the Princess of Wales and her and her recovery. Uh, but, uh, but undoubtedly, of course, that there has been uh, a lot of uh, secrecy surrounding uh, the, the health of the Princess of Wales. Th that is not uh, unusual, of course, uh, when it comes to members of the royal family. And the palace, of course, is very, very protective, of course, of members of the royal family. They've been very protective, of course, of the king as well in terms of his diagnosis. Uh, and I expect they will continue to be uh, very, very, uh, very protective in terms of, of the messaging. Mm. Uh, but I, I expect really the, the whole country is going to rally around uh, the Princess of Wales now and, and around the monarchy uh, also. Uh, and, and I think that uh, the British people will be cheering on the Princess of Wales, hoping for a, for a very swift and full recovery uh, for her. I mean, Niall, she is such a lovely person. She just exudes class. Why would people be so cruel to her in now what has turned out to be such a, a, a dire situation for her? Yeah, that, that's an excellent point. Uh, we, we've seen some incredible uh, cruelty, uh, frankly, from people on Twitter, on the Internet, making all sorts of allegations against the Princess of Wales. Um, some of this, it has to be said, has been has been driven by uh, by supporters of uh, uh, Meghan and Harry. Certainly on on Twitter, I think that that has been the case. Or people who who say they support Meghan and Harry. Uh, th this is really it, it's nasty uh, stuff. It's some of the nastiest uh, I, I think allegations that we've we've seen in the history of of Twitter, now known as uh, as X. Uh, and the contrast, of course, between this vile, vicious stuff on on, uh, on Twitter and the, the wonderful uh, heart that uh, the Princess of Wales has is absolutely uh, uh, stunning here. Uh, the Princess of Wales really embodies, I, I think, a spirit of, of service, kindness, uh, a spirit also of sacrifice for, for, for the country, for king and country. 
Uh, and there's a massive contrast between uh, the Princess of Wales' character and, and the nasty, the nastiness that we're seeing right now from those who are attacking her. There's a huge gulf here. And as you point out, uh, the Princess Wales has, has tremendous class, actually. She is, she is a wonderful mm. person. Uh, she has a wonderful uh, spirit about her. Uh, and, and I think she's going to, going to fight against this cancer with all of her heart, and she'll win it. Uh, on behalf of, of the royal family, but also on behalf of the British people, I, I think she's going to prevail and and succeed in defeating this cancer. Um, you know, obviously, on this side of the Atlantic, there are a lot of Americans heavily invested in seeing some kind of a reconciliation between Prince Harry, formerly Prince Harry, who now lives here, mm. and William. Do you think this might open the door? You know, sometimes families going through tragedy. Are brought closer together. Might this prompt some kind of a reconciliation? Do you think, or no chance? Uh, that's a great question. That remains to be seen. I, I'm not hopeful on that on that front. I think there, there's immense bad blood, of course, between uh, William and Harry, uh, and I think this is largely driven, of course, by uh, by Harry and Meghan's relentless attacks upon the royal family, uh, and some of the nasty things that have been said about. Uh, about the Princess of Wales uh, and the Prince of Wales by, by uh, especially uh, Meghan Markle. I think she has said a lot of very unpleasant things uh, and Harry has just stood there and, and accepted it. Uh, so I, I don't think we're going to see a reconciliation between uh, William and Harry anytime uh, soon. Uh, and and I, I think that really Harry has to make an apology to, to William uh, and to Kate really before anything can move, move forward here. Uh, and, and I think the, the, the relentless attacks upon the monarchy from uh, Harry and, uh, and Meghan have been an absolute disgrace. Uh, they are now deeply unpopular figures in the United Kingdom. Uh, and and I, I do not see any kind of reconciliation happening uh, any time uh, soon. And there does need to be an apology, I think, for both Harry and Meghan uh, to uh, the Prince and Princess of Wales and, and to the, uh, the, the British uh, royal family as a whole. All right, Niall, we've got to leave it there. Thank you so much for jumping in, sharing your expertise with us. We appreciate it. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you very Pre much. Appreciate it now. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.